why we're actually going to get out is, is pretty much, like I said, done dude, okay, which is, most of you are probably pr pretty familiar with this snake, yeah, uh, yeah, this is the Jugite, uh, brown snake, which can vary extensively in colour, uh, personality, believe it or not, snakes do have a personality, just like you and I do, um, and this guy, like I said, today's not a very hot day, so he ain't really going to be in a striking mood at all. He'd pretty much just want to take off and leave us all alone. Now, these guys do vary a lot in colour. Uh, as you can see, they're generally very brown, have spots or speckles on them. Uh, they can be khaki colour, like the fine pants there. They can vary green in colour. They can also be black, and that's where a lot of people, unfortunately, misidentify from what they are. They can also be green. Now, I, went to a, I actually do snake removal in, snakes in people's houses, and I actually went to a snake uh, lady's house and they had a snake about yay big, and it was a um, jugite. Because it was lime green, they thought they'd give it to their son for a pet because they didn't think it was a jugite. Um, like I said, this guy's quite docile today, as you can see. I'm not going to advise you to go and do this, as David said. Like I said, very docile animal, uh, not interested in biting at all. They can be quite aggressive when they are, when they are um, being threatened. Pretty much just like this guy here, but I pretty much put him in the corner there and started pushing him around. You can guarantee he's going to start coming at me swinging. These guys are exactly the same thing. They'll get into an S shape and they'll start. They'll start to strike. As you can see, now these guys, these guys can strike pretty much half of their body. Now they are a front fanged animal, which means their fangs are at the front of their mouth, which means every part of your body is vulnerable. And now these guys can get anywhere from about 1.5 meters up to up to two meters long. They can get very big. Uh, now most people that actually are bitten by these snakes. Generally it's, a, generally, it's a dry bite, which means the venom's actually left on the surface, not actually penetrated into the skin. Now, in WA, or Perth, or Perth alone, we probably have anywhere between 70 to 100 snake bites a year, and unfortunately, uh, we've already had a fatality this year.